just a couple months ago, caused me to have to continue to rearrange these slide presentations because the data is so impressive. Now you look at those two mice. The one on the left is a normal aged mouse, which we don't want to be. It's got sarcopenia, osteoporosis, hair loss. It looks old. It's all shriveled up like an old person. The mouse to the right, it was given an interleukin-11 inhibiting therapy, and it did not age at the same rate. It lived 25% longer, and it continued looking younger. And you're going to see that throughout this presentation, that when we delay aging biologically, keep these animals alive longer, they also look younger on a longer basis. It's a fantastic situation. So interleukin-11, this is a toxic cytokine that we want to repress in our body. And this study published in Nature made some headlines. It's involved, this IL-11 is involved in inflammation and fibrosis and interleukin-11 increases as we age. It literally kills us. And what this study found is that if you inhibit interleukin-11, you extend lifespan in male and female mice and it's effective both both in young and older animals. And why is that so important? Most of us in the room are no longer young anymore, meaning we need to identify drugs that we can put into our body to delay aging and extend our remaining lifespan. And what was most impressive about this study, when it terminated, 40 to 50% of the mice given the interleukin-11 inhibitor they were still alive, 40 to 50 percent, only 10 percent of the control group. So this is a drug we want to put into our body. And this video shows the normal aged mice, just like normal aged people, shriveled up, not as active, their health is not very good, and they die sooner. It's really that simple. And then when you alter the gene in this case, and there's a couple of ways to reduce interleukin-11, but they altered the gene at birth, and they were able to enable these animals to live 25 percent longer in in better health with a more youthful characteristic. So what does IL-11 inhib inhibition accomplish? Well, a lot. It's why we take uh, rapamycin, why we engage in calorie restriction, intermittent fasting. We want to inhibit excess mTOR C1. This kills us. This creates diseases in our body. We're doing a lot to inhibit it. Inhibiting IL-11 does that. It also increases AMPK activity. One of the reasons we take metformin and certain nutrients that boost AMPK activity, these are good factors. Reduce markers of senescence. Wow, the accumulation of senescent cells in our aged body, we want to get rid of those. Inhibiting this cytokine can make that happen. Liver fibrosis, this occurs in people with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, killing a lot of people. This one drug may save lives from people who are dying from fatty liver disease disease, many of which could be here tonight, but they're not because it overcome them. Operated brown adipose tissue, and when you do that, you induce fat mass loss, reduce fat, reduce lipids, and improved insulin sensitivity. Those seven benefits by simply inhibiting the interleukin-11 cytokine. So there's a couple ways of doing it. One of the scientists used a gene therapy, and you're going to hear a lot about gene therapy this weekend. They knocked out the gene that produces IL-11 from birth. They extended median lifespan by about 25%. And that's important for a couple reasons. Some people might think, well, do we need this IL-11? Turns out there are redundant mechanisms to do what it's supposed to do in a body, and we can probably knock it out completely completely and not miss it. At the same time, extend our lifespan. And that other method, by the way, is an anti-IL-11 antibody that we take as a drug to suppress the IL-11 and therefore improve our median lifespan, in this case, 23%. This is in older animals given an IL-11 inhibitor, in this case, an IL-11 antibody to knock it out, even with very, very old mice. Now, fibrosis is a term that most people are not totally familiar with, but it's actually involved in about 45% of the deaths that occur in industrialized countries. You've probably heard about pulmonary fibrosis. There's liver fibrosis, cardiac fibrosis. It's a connective tissue disorder in which our cells are damaged and we simply die sooner. Knocking out IL-11 is a way to stop fibrosis and maybe put it in reverse. The tremendous news is this is in phase one FDA trials right now, or it's already past them, and I may already be in phase two. And because fibrosis is such a common cause of death, there's a good chance FDA will approve this drug relatively soon. 
three different pharmaceutical companies putting big money into getting this drug approved to treat people who are suffering from various fibrotic illnesses, but we're going to potentially use it like we do metformin and rapamycin off-label to extend our lifespan. And what can we do right now to suppress IL-11? Good news, almost everyone in this room is already doing it. Lutein to help protect our vision, resveratrol for its various anti-aging properties, a new one being it helps inhibit IL-11, and curcumin, and beta blockers. That's a class of drugs that can help slow aging, reduce cancer risk. So these are ways to at least suppress IL-11, but they won't be as potent as the drugs. When the drugs come out, we'll let you know about it, tell you where you can get them, and hopefully they'll be affordable so we can use them to live 23, 25% longer in better health. And again, showing these mice side by side. The left, you can see the IL-11 inhibited mice. They're doing better and they look younger than the control group there. Not given IL-11 inhibition. They're, they look older, they behave older, and they die sooner. <laughs> <laughs>